communion service and as many that has connected to us all around the world and as many that are here right now physically where I am Father God in heaven we are protected in your body we are protected in your blood because we know the speaking of the blood of your son Bible says that the blood of Jesus that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. And we have come with that confidence, O Lord God of heaven, that we know the blood is speaking for us. Tonight and always is speaking for those who are connected to us. Speaking for those who are watching you, who are believing you for one thing or another. Is speaking for all of us tonight. And we are partaking. In that precious blood tonight, Father God, in heaven, let every prayer we pray in this place. Let those prayers be acceptable, O Lord God of heaven, in thy sight. Let every burden be broken, Lord God of heaven. Let every yoke be destroyed, the Lord God of heaven. And we ask for the glorifying of your name, even on this day, in the name of Jesus. To you alone, Lord. God be all the glory to you alone, Lord God. Be all the honor tonight. Holy Spirit of God, Holy Spirit of God, Holy Spirit of God, we ask that you minister to us specially tonight. Let your name, O Lord God of heaven, be glorified. Thank you. Our everlasting Father, blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen. I'm looking at the book of Joel chapter 2. And we're reading from verse 21 through 26 tonight. Joel chapter 2, we're reading from verse 21. And we're stopping at verse 26 tonight. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring, for the tree beareth her fruit. The fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Verse 23, Be glad then, you children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and it will cause you to come down for you the rain, the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floor shall be full of wheat, and the bed shall overflow with wine and oil, and I will restore to you the years that the locusts have eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. <laughs> and in verse 26, and it says, And you shall eat in plenty. And you shall eat in plenty. And be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God. That I dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never be ashamed. In the name of Jesus Christ brethren. 
I want you to believe this word that I'm saying to you tonight. That every calamity always presents a platform for great creativity. Wherever you see calamities moving around and swirling in the wind, you know that as the wind, as that boisterous wind swirls around, there is a creation of a great platform for creativity. And I want to tell you that every creativity creates greater opportunities to spring forth great and new things. In other words, when the, there are perilous times, when there are challenging times, when there are horrific times, God always, always, always use that opportunity to present great platforms for you to spring forth great and new things. I believe God that in this month of May, our confidence always remains resolute in our God of heaven. Our God of heaven who is the maker of all that was, of all that is, and that will ever be. God will do great things for us as he has promised at the beginning of this month. In Joel chapter 2 verse 21, the scripture that we read, Prophet Joel spoke specifically the mind of God for the people. He said, fear not, O land, <laughs> be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. It's a word of assurance for you and for myself, for your family, for your business, for the entirety of your being, for your body, for your health, for everything that is around you, that God shall do great things. And I can tell you, brethren, that God will not only do great things, just like we heard on Sunday, that God will also do new things. <laughs> God will also do new things. I say one more time that God will also do new things. And we anchor our hope and confidence in that scripture in Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 to 19. Isaiah 43, verses 18 to 19. The Bible says, Remember ye not the former things, and neither consider the things of old. Behold, I, God, will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. <laughs> Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. That's the word of our God. That is the word of our God for somebody who is listening tonight. That is the word of our God for somebody who is challenged tonight. That is the word of God for somebody who is in despondence tonight. That is the word of God for somebody who is being troubled tonight. That is the word of God for somebody whose home, whose business whose life has been challenged and troubled tonight. God is saying to you and is saying to me as I say it to you that I will do a new thing. He said, shall you not know it? He said, I will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers will flow from the desert. Hallelujah. I'm going to read another translation from the NIV translation of the same scriptures in Isaiah 43 verses 18 to 19. Bible says, he said, forget the former things, let the former things go. Do not dwell on the past. Verse 19, see, I am doing a new thing. That's God. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? That is, can't you hear it? Can't you sense it in the spirit? <laughs> can't you believe the voice of God? Can't you believe the voice of God that he has spoken to you through the mouth of a man? He said, do you not see it? Do you not perceive it that I am about to do a new thing? <laughs> and God said, I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. According to the efficacy in that word in Hebrews chapter 6 verse 18. Bible says, by two immutable things, it is impossible for God to lie. Ah, 
that is our God cannot tell one strand of lie. What he said he will do is exactly what he will do. What he promised to do is exactly what he will do. It is impossible for God to lie. So in other words, I'm saying to you this communion service tonight all across the world that God will not only do great things, he will also do brand new things. I sense in the spirit that a new fresh water is flowing into the life of somebody. I sense it in the spirit that the healing virtues from heaven is flowing into somebody's veins, is flowing through somebody's arteries, is flowing through somebody's bones, is flowing through somebody's body from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. God said, I am doing a brand new, brand new, brand new things, brand new things. In verse 26 of chapter 26, God now gave us another word of assurance that we will eat in plenty. He said, thou shalt eat in plenty and be satisfied. In other words, what God is saying is that you are not just going to eat for the sake of eating. Because there are a lot of people who eat. People eat every day. But there are a lot of people who eat and they are not satisfied. So that is the new thing that God is doing for us this month. He said, thou shalt eat in plenty. <laughs> there will be plenty eating. You know, there will be plenty eating. And where you find plenty eating, there is plenty harvest. Hey, I don't care how dry the atmosphere is right now. I am banking on the word of God in Joel chapter 2 verse 26. He said, that thou shalt eat in plenty and thou shalt be satisfied. I'm not thinking about what is dry around people's lives. I'm not thinking about what is dry even in, around people in our community. I am not even thinking one ink about the things that are dry in the lives of people. I'm thinking about the word of God and what he's saying to me, what he's saying to you, what he's saying to us as a church. He said, thou shalt eat in plenty and you'll be satisfied. In other words, there is divine satisfaction that is coming to the works of your hand. There is divine satisfaction from the business that you are holding, there is divine satisfaction. You shall eat in plenty. And you shall be satisfied. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something, brethren, before I leave you alone tonight. Every declaration of faith that you and I make, we do as a result of our confidence in the efficacy of the blood of the Lamb. Hmm. Let me repeat that word again. Every declaration that you and I make from our mouth and from our heart, we do so as a result of our boldness, our confidence, our trust in the efficacy of the blood of the Lamb. So when we say we shall eat in plenty, our confidence is in the shed blood of the Lamb. So when we say that no plague will come near our dwellings and no sickness will come near our homes, we are saying that because of our boldness and confidence in the blood of the Lamb. When we say we fear no evil because God is with us, it is because of the confidence that we have in the efficacy of the blood of the Lamb. When we say that we are more than conqueror through Christ, oh my God, we are expressing that confidence in the efficacy Oh, in the efficacy and the workings of the precious blood of the Lamb. When we say we are healed and we are made whole, when we say no sickness is coming near us, we are declaring that because of our confidence and our trust and our boldness in what only the blood of Jesus can do. When we say none shall die but live to declare the glory of God in the land of the living, we are making that declaration of faith because of our trust. Hey, our trust, our trust, our confidence, our boldness that the blood of Jesus will work for us. Hallelujah. Mm. The blood of bulls and rams and all that work in the Old Testament, in the Old Covenant, it's not the same blood that we're talking about in the New Covenant. We are now in the New Covenant. 
and the new covenant is something that I call a glorious reality. If there's somebody here who does not, who is watching me right now, who does not believe in the efficacy of the blood, I'm telling you the blood of Jesus is a glorious reality. It's a saving reality. It is a reality that we are expressing ourselves in. It is a reality. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 12. Hebrews chapter 9 verse 12. The Bible says, Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. In verse 13 it says, For if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of a hyper sprinkling the unclean sanctified to the purifying of the flesh. Verse 14. How much more shall the blood of Christ who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to God. Purge your conscience from dead works to serve the living God. The blood of Jesus. Purchase. It purchase. It purchase. It purchase your conscience. It purchase my conscience from dead works so that we can serve a God of heaven who lives forevermore. Immortal God. God who was never created by anybody but created the whole earth and heaven himself. A God of heaven, ancient of days. God who will not die. Purge your conscience. I pray that as you partake in this precious communion tonight, that the blood of Jesus will do that which it had been destined to do. It will purge your conscience from dead works. It will purge your life from dead works. It will purge your business. It will purge your home. Purge your health. Purify your health. To the glory of God and to the shame of the devil. By the blood of Jesus we express confidence. Every prayer we pray, we pray in confidence and boldness that God hears us. So the blood of Jesus gives us confidence. It gives us that boldness. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the holy by the blood of Jesus. By a new and living way which he hath consecrated for us. Through the veil. That is to say, his flesh. Hebrews chapter 9 verses 19 to 23. Oh. And having an high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith, having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the profession of our faith without wavering, for God is faithful that promised. The blood of Jesus will energize us. The blood of Jesus will energize me. The blood of Jesus will embolden you. The blood of Jesus shall keep away fear from you. In the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus we have redemption. Colossians chapter 1 and verse 14. In whom we have redemption. <laughs> Through his blood even the forgiveness of sins. Who is the image of the invisible God. The firstborn of every creature. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We cannot stay on this. On this broadcast tonight, we can stay here for the next year, for the next two years, for the next three, four, five, ten, twenty years, and keep talking about the blood of Jesus. The topic is inexhaustible. But what I want to bring to your attention tonight is the ability that the blood of Jesus brings to every home, to every man, to every woman to every family, to every church of the living God, to everybody, whether you are connected, if you are connected to, to this broadcast right now, and you are not a believer, God has done this for a reason, has brought you here for a reason, so that you can listen to what God has to say about the efficacy and the preciousness of the blood of Jesus. In Luke chapter 22, we're going to take our communion right now, Members of the city of praise, I have already instructed us what we are going to do tonight. Please, I want you to take out your bread and your wine at this time. Hallelujah. Get yours. Mandoli brade boba shenda la kaba. Take this one. Netoli bare moyanda li kare moja. Don't eat it yet. Don't eat it yet. We're going to eat it together. Don't eat it yet. He has his own. Hallelujah. 
In Luke chapter 22, verses 19 to 20, the Bible says, And Jesus took bread. And when he had given thanks, somebody said, Jesus, I thank you. Somebody said, God, I thank you. Somebody said, God, I thank you. Say, God, I thank you. Say, God, I thank you. I was said he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. If you're watching me, you can take the flesh right now. Hmm. I bleed the blood. It is the blood of Jesus. I plead, I plead the blood. Hey, it is the blood, Lord of Jesus. I plead the blood. It is the blood of Jesus. Hey, I plead the blood. It is the blood. Of Jesus, let us sing that song. I plead uh, the blood, it is the blood mm, yeah, of Jesus. Mm. I plead the blood, it is the blood mm, of Jesus. I plead ye, 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 the blood, oh, oh, it is the blood. Of my Jesus. And he said, We're looking at Luke chapter 22. And he said, And likewise, the cup after they had eaten, saying, This cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood. If you have the blood in your hand, you have the wine in your hand right now, that's become the blood of Jesus. I want you to take it right now. Male brande mo jendele crede mo mare ma zoko tele brande bo ma zeka tele bro. I want you to just pour out your heart before God tonight. As we have taken the blood, I want you to pray to God and just talk to God in the privacy of your heart. What you want that blood to do for you tonight? You want the blood to bring down healing? Say it to our God of heaven. Maybe you are using this as a contact point for somebody, for your loved one who is in the sick bed right now, or somebody who is in trouble right now, or somebody who is challenged right now. You can say that. Say that in prayer to our God of heaven who alone answers prayers. Man, don't lay bread above. If you can pray in the spirit, you can pray in the spirit right now. My sweater, lay bread, go chandelier. Na sorry, my yaka telebrate de kendalum ruma yen de lebre de bo shida ebo raka se telebre de bo rako kasato lembre de bo nina na yadali ika se telebre de bo ba sheda yaka baba bala brana moze de bo randa yeka se telebre ne mo shinda la brana de bo ba soka to lebre de bo manza da la brana mo shinda yeke de bo. Thank you, our Father. Blessed be your holy name. Blessed be your holy name. We're going to sing that this hymn as we round up tonight. What can wash away my sin? And it's nothing blood but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Now they, now they, by the blood 
of him. That is why we have a communion, continuous communion with him. I pray for you that in this month of May, the blood of the precious blood, Lamb of God, will open the heavens over you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the blood shall open the closet of treasures, every closed closet of treasures. By the reason of the blood of the Lamb, that shall open unto you. Even in this month of May, in the name of Jesus, I pray that the blood shall open unto you and to your family. Cabinet of blessings in the name of Jesus. The blood shall open doors of dominion around you and for you and for your family in the name of Jesus. The blood will open way where there seems to be no way for you in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. It will cause rivers to flow even to you out of the desert in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that the blood of Jesus will give unto you sources of power and authority and the blood of Jesus will connect you to your destiny in this month of May in the name of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus shall make you become unstoppable, even unstoppable, even unstoppable by your enemies in the name of Jesus. By the reason of the efficacy and the workability in the blood of Jesus, I prophesy to every dry things in your life, every dry bone in your life to receive a life right now, life jumping out of every dryness, life jumping out of every hopelessness by the precious blood of the Lamb in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and prophesy that dry bones will leave Oh, dry bones will leave again. The dry bones will leave again. Dry bones will leave again. Dry situations in your life <laughs> will leave one more time in the name of Jesus. Ever dry finances, ever dry finances will leave in the name of Jesus. Every marriage that is dry by the precious blood of Jesus, it will leave in the name of Jesus. Ever dry business. As a result of this pandemic or the result of all the things, the businesses will continue to live in the name of Jesus. There is a servant of God who is connected, who is watching right now. I pray that your anointing that seems to be drying up, God of heaven is resuscitating it by the precious blood, by the precious blood, by the precious blood of the Lamb. No more hopelessness in the name of Jesus. No homelessness in the name of Jesus. Mando Libra will shut the door to premature death. Will shut the door to sickness. Will shut the door to illness by the precious blood of the Lamb. The blood of Jesus that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. It will speak success for you, speak triumph for you, speak victory for you, speak multiplication for you, speak replenishing for you, speak increase for you, speak good health for you. I decree it. He said you shall decree a thing and it shall be established. I decree that as a servant of the Most High God, I decree it and it is decreed. In heaven, by the precious blood of Jesus, 
Thank you, our everlasting Father. To you alone be all the glory tonight. To you alone be all the honor tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In the name of Jesus, we are praying tonight. Amen and amen and amen and amen. I want to thank you for connecting tonight from all around the world, wherever you are. The blessings of God reaching you, reaching every corner of your home, corner of your business. I decree it every prayer we are praying here tonight that the Lord of heaven have his ears inclined to us and he has answered us in the name of Jesus Christ. Today is a midweek service in the city of praise and I'm imploring our members who want to give some offerings to God tonight. You know where you give it. It's on Cash App. City of Praise, Milwaukee. City of Praise, Milwaukee. City of Praise, Milwaukee. If God is laying in your heart to just give to the church, you can do that right now. Uh, let me tell you something. Uh, the only thing we can do at this time in our church is to give our food to people. And we have tripled our budget to be able to meet the needs of people who are hungry in our community. Hallelujah. So if you know somebody who needs food, people were calling me. Even people were calling me from, from outside of Milwaukee this last weekend that they needed food. We just gave them direction to go to the church. And uh, according to uh, food soldiers on the ground, they were satisfied because they had a lot to take home. This food stuff that we're distributing in the city of praise, it has been a blessing. Testimonies are already coming are already coming from what we are doing. And I want to thank Dickin Wilson. Dickin Wilson, uh, Tommy is the man in charge of that project, of that endeavor. It's a drive, it's a spiritual drive. And this man of God has relentlessly, he has relentlessly pursued this. It's a passion for him. And I want you, when we are praying and thanking people, please, I don't want us to forget Dickin Wilson and his crew who are actually going to the place to get the food and we are distributing to people in our church. So we have doubled and we have tripled our budget and people are coming. And we don't want anybody to come and we say, oh, food is finished. The food will not finish. So if you want to give to us, City of Praise, of Milwaukee, Cash App, that's the app we're using right now. Let's give to us and the Lord God of heaven will bless you as you do so. Now, I uh, people have been asking me, when are we going to start a regular service in church uh, brethren I tell you that hopefully I believe God that we will start very soon because uh, whatever we're doing in church we are connecting with what the government in the state of Wisconsin is doing the orders they are given we are we are obedient to 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 the law of the land so so temporarily we believe in God the, uh, according to the governor he said he's going to reopen in on the 24th of May and we are watching the tide we are watching we are monitoring too and as God leads it in our hearts to open up, we will let you know. But we are believing God that in the month of June, God is not going to do great and great things. And we'll be able to come together and worship our God in a sanctuary. I'm not giving a promise. I'm just telling you that I hope that that happens in the name of Jesus Christ. We're going to sing our last hymn, Rock of Ages, clap for me. We're going to sing two stanzas. And we'll close for tonight. That check the key, please. Mm, rock of ages, clap for me. Let me hide myself in thee. Let the wall and the blood. From thy womb, that side which flow, be of sin, the double care. Save from rough and make me build. Stands in the last stanza. While I draw this fleeting breath, when my eyes shall close in death. Yeah, when I rise towards unknown and behold thee on thy throne, a hey, rock of ages, clap for me, let me hide myself in thee. 
and fellowship and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely His goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for connecting. See you on Sunday. Amen.